All right. Uh, hey, I'm a big fan of this actor. David Brenner is on the phone. David Brenner calling in. Oh, my God, David. Uh, the work you did on SVU and everything. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was a big part of that. Wait, um, what the fuck? Oh, oh, David oh. Bernard. That's not... Oh, I'm so horny. Fucking mm. boo. What? <gasps> All right, David. Now, you kind of fell lackluster with the name choice, but what, how can we help you? Look at right. this. Um, yeah, I was calling in to ask Look you about... I, I saw that Flow Draw, The Hungry Eskimo, uploaded a new album. Yeah. Oh, you know, this is funny. I've never talked about this. I saw that too, and I saw a little bit of the the way I found out was on the forums, or not the, it might have been before the Reddit, but there was a recent Reddit post up there too. Yeah, I saw it through the subreddit. I yeah. guess so. People are asking like, do I know about this? Like whatever. Like not really. I guess all the guys from the old band got back together and did slow draw the hungry Eskimo again, and just didn't call me <laughs> like at all, which is fine. I mean, it's kind of funny saying it now, but like, no, like I work down the street from some of them. <laughs> That's so shit. Yeah, I haven't listened to it yet, but the little I did hear, I've um, heard it sounded like very similar to the sound you guys had. Well, I've heard that it's a lot of the same assets with new recorded vocals over them and stuff, which is, I mean, they wrote that music and they were really nice uh, about letting us even put it on the. Um, there, here's this machine. So there's a fucking rat in this machine you can talk to. Some hamster or something. Um, anyway, they were uh, nice enough to let us put that music out, like on the Mega 64 soundtrack back in the day that's out of print now. So, um, yeah, I don't know. They wrote the music. They could, they could do whatever they want. But no, I'm not involved. Um, yeah, I was just curious. In that at all. And uh, it's kind of, I feel like it was weird, but that's their thing. I haven't talked to those guys in so long anyway, you know, kind of like starting. Well, we, I just yeah. want to say too, like we're, we're doing version four without you too. Yeah. Like, oh, you that's were not, we don't hate you. You're just not going to tell me. Oh, well, it's just easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever. No I would have thought like, I don't know, <laughs> like, Hey, do you want to be in on this? Or like, Hey, we're not friends with you anymore. So that's fine. But we're going to do this thing. And I would have been, I don't know, just like giving a heads up. Rather than like the fan base come like, hey, what's this new slow draw thing? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. What do you mean? That was yeah, awkward. That that would be awkward. But that's fucking life, bro. Indeed. Them's the yeah, breaks. I actually had an unawkward experience similar to that where I had to hear some uh, interesting information from the source that I wouldn't expect. Um, yeah. So... I, I'm sure it that's sounds. Sort of it sounds riveting, but this. Yeah, yeah. I was checking the other door too. The um. Yeah, you know what? What? What specifically is your? Uh, oh my God, she's hurt. I need to eat um, something. Come back. <laughs> I need to eat a fucking can of first aid spray. Ouch. Okay, David, you better get to it. So, uh, um, recently, yeah. I've uh, I've been talking to uh, someone who I've previously been in a relationship with. Okay, uh, okay, um, okay, love interest. I got gotcha. you. I'm on. And uh, I found out that um, they. Yeah. And that I recently had as well. They what recently? Excuse me. That that this person we we broke up. And um, I, I found out that she briefly saw another friend of mine that I recently is a new friend. Ooh, that happens. And, you, and you, uh, your opinion. I, I heard about this from her instead of him. And, and that was kind of shocking. Uh, so he's, yeah, he's just not bringing that up when he's around you. And it's like, hey, dummy, you don't think that would have been pertinent information for me? Look at that. You do fucking mix them. We got to the bottom yeah. of it. But I, 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 you know, I talked to him. Yeah. He apologized. Um, I, I'm not one to hold a grudge. So. Hey, you know what? And it'll it's only like eat you up inside. No, hold grudges. Well. Fuck him. Sorry. We, you know what? 
We've all been We've all been a bit hurt before in the past. Sorry. You don't wanna jade you don't wanna jade yourself. You don't want a callus to grow over that beautiful pink heart exactly. beating in your chest, David. You gotta move on. You gotta David, you're right. Don't talk to them, fuck them. You gotta don't listen to Steve. Okay, the intern says listen to Steve. I learned from you, Garrett. Well hey, I've been in a very similar situation too. Was with a girl, was getting to know her, then found out from a guy, yo, this chick been getting with me too. What do we do? We confronted her, we worked it out. Still know this guy to this day. I was in a situation once where, uh... This guy's in a big-ass <laughs> fucking band called Pierce the Veil, which is funny. I was interested in this guy, uh, and a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, was, uh, gonna help sort of try and set me up with him. Yeah. Because like, they, they talked. He was gonna, like, try and put in a good word for me or whatever. I don't know how the fuck that even works. Uh, they started hanging out more often, uh, and then it just occurred to me that they were secretly seeing each other. Secrets out. So, yeah, that's the thing, that guys. Was good. It ain't that secret, so just be upfront and honest, because I think all that shit eventually yeah. it rises. It comes out. It, it comes came out, out in a really bad, bad way. Uh, we didn't talk for a while, but then well. now we're. Uh, well, and no, kudos, and and you got to give this guy credit for confronting you and telling you, and that's I give I give my buddy credit for like, hey, thank you for coming to me with this information. That's not the easiest thing to do. Know what I'm saying, Vern? You like the Ernest movies, there, Dave? Funny. <laughs> I have actually never seen them, no. Well, you got some homework oh, to do, buddy. On. Dave, thank you very much for calling in. I hope we get to it. Um, thank you for calling to Twin Peaks and Wheeling, home of the Dirty Blonde. This is Courtney. How can I help you? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your call. And thank you for your tips today, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Ninja.